What if you're given the information in a different format? So suppose that autonomous consumption is 1200 government purchases are 1000 planned investment spending is 1500 and net exports are 20 or 250 Also suppose that the MPC is 0 0.9. Okay, well, we just do the exact same thing, right? If we're trying to find the equilibrium level of GDP, and hopefully you've watched the other videos or some other videos, so you've seen this a few times now, I know that's where Y equals aggregate expenditure, and I know that aggregate expenditure is when I add up consumption plus investment plus government purchases plus net exports. We know that consumption is going to equal C bar plus MPC Y minus T. If there is taxes, in this case there isn't any taxes, but we'll still put it in there. And then we know investments just equal to the number government purchases is just equal to the number and net exports is just equal to the number. So therefore, aggregate expenditure equals consumption, which is C bar plus MPC times Y minus T plus investment plus government purchases plus net exports. And I know that this is gonna be the level when it equals Y star. So let's just plug all of this in. We've got 1,200 for autonomous consumption that was given up top here, right? This is C bar. MPC was given as 0 0.9. Y is our unknown. Taxes are zero because it's not given. Investment was 1,500. Government purchases was 1,000. And net exports was 250. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to combine my 1,200, my 1,500, my 1,000, and my 250. This gets us 3950 plus 0 0.9 times y. And remember, this is equal to that level of y, so we make sure we keep the y on the left-hand side. We're going to subtract 0 0.9 y from both sides, subtract 0 0.9 y. Let's make this a little smaller so that we can fit everything on one screen. That's going to cancel. This is going to equal 0 0.1, right? Because we have one full y minus 0 0.9 y. So we have 0 0.1 y equals 3950. And if we divide both sides by 0 0.1, those will cancel. And we will get my y star equal to 39,500. So that's how you find the equilibrium level of GDP when you're given all of this information in some sort of word problem.